Hey Clayton. Hey Angelina. What's up, bud? I'll talk about the book A Cat. Sure. Yeah, I love that book. It's like great. Can you tell me what it's about? Oh, well, the book is about a boy named Will, and there is a boy at school named Shane bullying him. Shane calls him A Kid because he's so smart. And in the book, you will encounter each person's perspective of the story, like Will, Katie, and Devin. Did you like it? Yeah, I, I liked it a lot. Actually, the reason I liked it is because of the change of perspectives, the plot, and the message. You never have any dislikes? Yeah. I, I didn't really like the ending that much. It was a little bit bland and empty. Hey, Clayton, who's Shane? Shane, he's the bully in the story. He's the one who bullies Will, and he does that because his like, stepfather bullies him and he carries his anger to school and he takes it down on the weaker students. Um, it's Devin. Devin is Shane's friend and develops a crush on Katie, so he gets in a fight with Shane, then the book. But okay. Well, Angelina, who's Katie? Well, Katie is actually one of my favorites. She's the most cursed person. She um, stands up to Shane for, for Will because he the what she's afraid of is age and because you're with her this little poem about how she should accept change the way it is. Some small school like St. Pat's to a big school like Reggie. Who? Uh, okay, I remember this book and I know Will. Will's the, pers Will's the person that gets bullied the whole story and needs people to stand up for him because he doesn't have courage to do it like Angelina said. What are some of the major problems of the book? Oh. Devin's is that he he's only the bystander and he won't if he sees something happening, he won't get up and do it. Help it out. So technically he's just realizing that being a bystander is worth some blame. Yeah. And Will's major problem is that he can't stand up for himself. Even if he you tries, he can't stand up for himself. Okay. Topic four. Clayton, do you think it's a fictional or non-fiction? Or I think it's I think it's real because like any of that stuff could happen in real life. Like in some of the movies I watch, they're real. Some of them are real. So and there's bullying in those and there's bullying in real life, so yeah, it could happen. Well, I think that this book could be fiction, but it's this book could be fiction and it also could be non-fiction. It could be non-fiction because bullying happens to everybody. But it could be fictional because I'm not quite sure that stuff I'm not really what to somebody before, so I'm not sure yet. Hey Angelina, what did you relate to? No. Um, no, not really, have you? No, I haven't. Clayton? Clayton, have you ever been bullied? Yeah. Oh, wow. Could you relate to that book when you were bullied? Like, non-stop? <laughs> Let's not name names. It was me. Okay, there so, any major um, conflicts in the book? Heck yeah. It was... Well, Conflict could be positive or not so earnest. It could be positive in a way of we're fighting over ice cream. <laughs> and it, it could be lovingly, like brother and sister nonsense. Or it could be like, you know, yeah, yeah, bullying and stuff like that. More is like the part with the coma, when Will gets a coma, which follows into the second one when he, when he goes there. Really nothing. <laughs> Another major conflict is when Shane and Devin fight over Katie. Devin wants to not make her in keep pain, her safe. Keep her, in, yeah, keep her safe. But Devin, I mean Shane, <laughs> wants to hurt her and bully her. How well or how bad is the book? <laughs> I thought it, I thought it was great. I already put my perspective about you. Did you like the book or did you not like the book? I liked the book because it showed like how bullying can hurt people really bad. Yeah. And that it can be good for you. Well, for us, 